All right, Shalom, the brother Ara here. I got the brother Kapashia. I got the brother Gadal with me from the GMS North Carolina Raleigh camp. Before we move forward, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 Bahashem. 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 Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rikakwadash. Bahashem Rikakwadash. And uh, double honors to the apostles, bishops, elders, the great millstone for teaching us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. The title of the lesson is called Fearing the Lord is Keeping It Simple, you know, sticking to the basics. You know, um, that's one of the things we were taught when we come into the truth is that we don't we don't need to go deep. You know, we don't need to go deep. We prophesy, we go into, you know, the things that's getting ready to happen. And we warn our people as we were told and commanded to do by the Lord. And we also tell our people about, you know, trusting in the Lord. And we bring out some history, things of that nature. But overall, we should keep it basic. And we're seeing that these poor examples amongst Israel, for example, the flavor of the week has been Sakari. You know, these men wanting to be deep. Uh, one of the things they said was uh, that the letters of Apostle Paul are not authoritative. You know, these are men who uh, are hanging around, you know, the wrong people getting into debates rather than focusing on the basics. Let me back my truck up. This, some idiot decides he wants to park right in front of me. Salaki, y'all. Let me back up. Are y'all there? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, of course. The end of <clears throat> so anyway throwing off my spirit here but let me get back into it <laughs> all right so um yeah you know just speaking about sakari the situation it was just a reminder of you know we're, we're not in this thing to try to sound deep and to try to get a following trying to uh please man we're in this to do the work of the lord sincerely and to do it 100% truth according to the Bible. Now, I got a precept here, 1 Timothy 2 and 2. It says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. The sincere milk. Or what does a baby consume? Consumes milk. And milk does your body good. Now, that's the saying. And, you know, sticking to the basics is, is perfectly fine. You know, there's a scripture that says it's better to fear the Lord than, than one who has much knowledge, yet um, he transgresses the laws. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. We, we can't forget about these things. And I'll, I'll try to find that scripture when you brothers bring out yours. But the basics, you know, again, fearing the Lord, trusting the Lord, faith, the prophecies, these are very important in these times. You know, we should be focusing on preparing our people for civil war, World War Three and the things to come. Rather than debating about whether or not Apostle Paul letters were authoritative. Now, I got another precept here. Um, it's Sirach 19 and 18. It says the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. And wisdom obtaineth love. But you got guys in Israel who's too busy trying to be accepted of man. They're trying to be buddy buddy with the uh, black conscious community. And all these bugged out different doctrines of man that, that they're involved in rubbing shoulders with. The, the, the mindset that we should be in is trying to be accepted of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. But that starts with fear. And that's the thing. These men, they get they get uh, ahead of themselves. They, they, they stay in it for a little while and they forget about the basics. So this lesson really is just a reminder to ourselves, you know, those that take heed to keep fearing the Lord. I'm going to pass it on to uh, the brother Gadal, and then, you, you know, we'll pass it to Kapasha. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is the book of Job, chapter 28 and verse 28. It says, and unto man, he said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So so, so what wisdom are, are we talking about? We're talking about the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Okay, and if you and if you have that fear, you're going to be uh, applying the Lord's instructions. What instructions are, are we speaking of? We're talking about uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. 
Now we know that you're not going to receive uh, salvation through uh, through the laws, but but by uh, but you're going to receive salvation through the through the Lord's uh, grace and, and and having faith in the Lord. It says and to it says and I'm going to start from the top. It says and, and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. So we we have to. Uh, we have to we have to depart from from evil, and uh, how do we depart from evil? That means we 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 uh we abstain from we abstain while while we here on earth. Yeah, that's all I have, brother. All right, Kapasha. All right, all right. I have uh, Proverbs uh one and seven. It says, "The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge." The fools despise wisdom and instruction, just like my brother Adele brought out a lot of good points, man, you know, and, you know, it is important, it's imperative that we do, you know, feel your how about your mouth shy because it, that's how you attain knowledge. That's where the knowledge is in the scriptures, because the scriptures, as the brother said, it tells us how to to live. And what pleases the Lord, you see, if we, uh, you know, but a fool won't listen to wisdom. What if the, the fool will listen to, you know, the philosophies, the wisdom of the world, you see. And that's where they uh, despise uh, wisdom, the correct wisdom and understanding that Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh it's teaching, you see, especially the so-called Negroes, where particularly the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, the Israelites, who are the Israelites, who this wisdom is for, you so see, and and, and to attain this knowledge, you must uh, first and foremost fear Yahweh Shai, and that'll keep you in line with, with you know, with, with 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 the scriptures, you see. That's right. And that's what he wants us to do anyway, pursuing to uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. That's he right. wants us to fear him, you see, because that keeps us in line, you see. That's, that's right. all I have, my brother. That's right. Fear fear uh, covers um, um, a manifold or various things. Fear keeps you in line, like you said, it shows forth obedience. It humbles you. You know, it, man, fear is where it's at now. Um, the beautiful scriptures, my brothers, both of y'all, beautiful scriptures through the spirit. I'm going to end off on Sirach uh, 19 and 24. It says, he that have small understanding and feareth Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is better than one that have much wisdom and transgressive the law of the most high. So you got men who, um, you know, yeah, they, they know they're Israelites. You know, they get on the podium or they got their platform. They got all these followings and they sound so deep. They know a lot of scriptures, but they don't fear the Lord. You can tell they transgress the laws. They're using Passover um, for for a party session. They're, uh, you know, selling merchandise, wearing hats while they prophesy. These are examples of men who lack fear. The basics. Now, you have men, on the other hand. Who may not know as many breakdowns, you know, but they fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They show obedience. They're in order, you no know, charitable, all these things. And eventually there, there's going to be a uh, growth that comes from that. But who's a better man based off the scripture? The, the one that fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the scripture regards a man who fear the Lord as honorable, the first chapter of Sirach. So nevertheless, man, we got to remember the importance of fearing the Lord. Every day we wake up, we should pray for more fear. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I just want to do this lesson. Um, and uh, Lord willing, y'all will edify. Any brothers want to say anything before we close out? Any any precepts before we close out? No, I'm good. Con, con. All right. So with that being said, all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. 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 By Hashem. By Hashem. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwa Dash. Bahashim Rakakwa Dash. Bahashim Rakakwa Dash. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.